Hey guys, just want to give an update on Project Natural. I've been away for the last five days. So I set the um, aquarium in motion by filling it up with um, live sand and salt water. And I put two pieces of live rock from the uh, 10 gallon aquarium that is uh, being transferred over to it. So um, we're gonna check the water parameters here in a second, but I just wanted to give an update on the condition of the tank. Uh, the water is uh, crystal clear. Uh, the tank has uh, remained uh, relatively undisturbed. Um, I did um, use the pump that came with the Phoenix. Uh, hang on back refugium. So I plan on upgrading this pump to a 180 GPH um, Hydor uh, unit and um, I will film another video once that upgrade is done um, and there will be some other uh, upgrades, side grades gonna add in another um, or add in a power head to get some uh, water movement in this aquarium but for now um, what I did before I left was I added in some um, brine shrimp so that um, any ammonia um, spike would help get the, uh, the cycle going. So I'm going to test out the uh, water parameters and append to this video uh, once I'm done. And um, this tank may be relocated. Uh, I'm looking at some furniture to relocate it to. And I will give an update on that in the next few days. Um, but for now, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and treat the tank as if it's going to sit here for a little while. just want to go over the parameters on Project Natural before I do some upgrades. So uh, we're looking at pH, ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate respectively. Uh, before I left for my trip, um, I was away for work for five days. I did put some um, brine shrimp in the uh, refugium to, to start the cycle process. And right now, just looking at the guidelines for the API water test, um, pH, sorry about the focus, is at a healthy 8.4. Um, night, I'm sorry, ammonia is really low still at zero ppm. Nitrite is non-existent at zero ppm, and uh, nitrate is non-existent pretty much at uh, zero or a little bit over zero uh, ppm. So um, not much has changed in the water parameters since I put it in. That could be as a result of the live rock uh, keeping things stable. Um, I did add some um, things into the refugium such as a foam filter, uh, there's carbon in there and uh, I did put Biomax uh, as well. And that's basically where we're at. So I've noticed a lot of evaporation in one week uh, since I left. So um, I'm going to be getting a custom made lid uh, done up for this once I have um, determined the final layout of the um, tank. Uh, once it gets on this final piece of uh, furniture, I'll go ahead and uh, put a custom lid on it. But uh, one thing I do have to pay attention to on this aquarium um, is the evaporation since the top is open. So there's nothing alive other than um, microorganisms organisms right now. So um, after I do some pump upgrades and the sort, um, I'll probably put uh, either the yellowtail damsel or the blue damsel or both in there uh, from the 10 gallon tank and start feeding them to, to get the process going. Um, the pair of uh, maroon clowns are being traded uh, for a power head that I need so uh, they're going to be um, going away and that's basically it. So. Please subscribe and uh, thank you for watching my video.